Welcome to the Raven Space on YouTube. My name is Jason, and this is Raven Space Mailbag. We answer your questions about the Baltimore Ravens. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Please subscribe to the Raven Space on YouTube for the best Baltimore Ravens content on the internet. Also, you want to help us grow, please uh, share this video on Facebook, Twitter, and wherever you guys uh, talk to other people, even in the workplace, wherever you want to share it. Also, a special shout out to our Patreon subscribers. You guys are the lifeblood of the Raven Space, so please stay to the very end of the video so you can see these people because um, they are the best. We're going to hop into our very first question of the day, and this question comes from Zachary. And Zachary asked, which offensive player will have the biggest improvement from this year to next year? Thank you so much for this question, and this may surprise people who have watched the show for um, a while. Because I have this young man, Patrick Ricard, as my choice. Um, if you guys do not know, Patrick Ricard was a player who started off as a defensive lineman and transitioned to fullback. I was critical of that. I was critical of having a guy, you know, the Ravens are not talented on offense. So I was, crit I was very critical of having a guy who's going to be a project player in a spot that last year was very pivotal for the Ravens' success with Kyle Juszczyk. However, as the season went on, especially you guys saw the last, uh, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> the last, <coughs> sorry about that, the last couple of games, you saw Patrick Ricard really break out. Um, he was he was blocking very well. Um, you saw in the beginning of the season, we used tight ends to block and some creative formations toward the end of the season. Ricard was in there blocking. We also saw him catch some passes. He did drop one big one once. But for the most part, he's made the transition to fullback. Um, he, if we can get him a little bit more in shape for a fullback um, and less for defensive uh, lineman, I think that he will be a very impactful player for the Baltimore Ravens at that position. And we don't have to pay him a lot like we would have to pay Kyle Juszczyk. So I think he will be the most improved uh, player coming from last year to this year. Some other uh, choices, if you guys really, really do want to know. Um, I was also thinking about Ryan Jensen, who had a good year at center, and next year may have a great year at center. Ronnie Stanley's also always a good pick um, because he is, again, a young player that will continue to grow in the NFL. So those are my choices. Uh, I, but I do think Ricard's a great pick. You guys let me know below who you would think will make the biggest jump from this year to next year. Now we're going to go to the next question, and this question comes from Jeff. And Jeff asked, which position are the Ravens most likely to add in free agency? Uh, thank you so much, Jeff. And I've did some research on this topic just for you guys. Um, and right now, it has to be receiver. The reason is because Ozzy's not going to overpay for a player like Le'Veon Bell, right? But Ozzy will try to get players who are undervalued um, by other teams. And this year, that is literally the name of the game for the receivers. Allen um, Robinson, undervalued. Jarvis Landry, undervalued. Um, depending on what Larry Fitzgerald does, undervalued, right? All these players are undervalued. Josh Gordon, undervalued. Uh, it's, it's just a lot. I mean, I truly do think that the Ravens are going to get one of these receivers to help them out because they're not going to be paid top dollar. Um, the one that I believe has the largest chance of being paid top dollar is Robinson. Um, but I, I really do think that players like Jarvis Landry um, and Josh Gordon, because not only because of their play, but for attitude two reasons, they're going to drop down below. So I'm, I'm excited to see what happens uh, because the Ravens do need playmakers at receiver. We talked about this already in the past, and these players can help. Um, but again, last year we thought Jeremy Macklin was going to revolutionize uh, our offense. We're not making the same mistake this year as Ravens fans. We know Joe Flacco has to be better, and we know our offensive line and play caller has to be consistent. Other than that, all of the receivers can help us out, but unless you get a great receiver, like I mean a top five guy, He's not going to change your offense. Um, and that's just the truth of the matter. Thank you so much for your question. Um, and now we're going to go to the next question uh, from Carney. And Carney asked, how hot is John Harbaugh's seat going into next year? Good question. 
if I had to put it on the scale uh, from one to ten, I would say right now John Harbaugh is at an eight. Now I say eight because in my head, if you're at ten, ain't no coming back, ain't no coming back, right? But I do believe John Harbaugh can come back if the Ravens make the playoffs. Again, there is an issue. Why do the Ravens not play their best in the big moments? I do not know that. Um, I can hypothesize like you guys can, but I do not know for a fact, right? I do know we had to beat the Steelers uh, last year. We did not get that done. I do know we had the Steelers beat this year, did not get that done. I know that we demolished the Bengals in the beginning of the season. We are a better team. We were a better team now than we were then. In my and overall, in my opinion, our offense was better. Our defense might have taken a step back because we lost Jimmy Smith, but I thought the offense was able to compensate for that. And the offense did compensate for that. To be 100 percent honest, the offense got us to a chance where we could win that game. Defense let us down. So those are three scenarios in must-win games where we've lost. And it's it it, it it sucks, right? So I think that reason makes John's seat hot. If the Ravens don't make the playoffs next year, I I would put some money that he would not be a Baltimore Raven um past that year. So the seat is hot. So I you know I really I really think it's hot. Uh, so you guys let me know uh, how hot do you think his seat is in the comments below. Now we're going to the last question of the day from Susan R. And she asks, is Calvin really a lock for the Ravens if he's on the board? Yes, ma'am. He is a lock. If there ain't no way in God's green earth, <laughs> ain't no way in God's green earth, Ozzie Newsom <clears throat> is going to let a receiver from Alabama go past him. I don't, you know, I listen. And not, now, Calvin really is a talented player too, right? He may be the best receiver in this draft. And, you know, I, I, I'm, I might believe that myself, um, but we know we know two things for sure. Okay, the Ravens need a receiver. So if they and if they don't get one in free agency, oh boy, you then you need a receiver. So that's that's one. The Ravens need the Ravens need a receiver. Two, Ozzy will take an Alabama player every single pick if he could. We know that. Every single pick, if he could, so those two together, and then you add the history, right? Teams like winners, right? That's just the facts. Teams like winners. He's a winner. He played for Alabama. Teams like uh, history, right? Name a, name the other two big Alabama receivers to come out in the draft. I'll do it for you. Julio Jones and Amari Cooper, right? Julio Jones may be the best receiver in the league, in some people's opinions, not mine. I think Antonio Brown. But in some people's opinions, he may be the best receiver in the league. Um, Amari Cooper, and I would say everyone's opinion, is a probably a top 10, top 13 receiver in the league. <clears throat> if people think that they can compare this guy to those guys, and he's a winner, and he's from Alabama, and the Ravens need a receiver, there's no way that this guy is not getting picked by the Baltimore Ravens at our spot. However, there's a chance he might not be on the board. Because uh, I've heard rumors um, that the Chicago Bears really like him and they're at number eight. And so if the Ravens want him, they're going to have to jump up from, I believe, they're at 16 to seven. And that's that's going to be that's going to be some draft picks, right? That's going to cost you some draft picks. And we'll see how the Ravens uh, react to all this. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you want your question on the show, please drop it in the comments below. Thank you guys so much. Again, subscribe, share, like. Uh, do everything you can to help us grow, and we'll keep on trying to provide the best Baltimore Ravens content for you. Thank you guys so much, and go Ravens. <laughs>